Democrats sending out the heavy hitters to states that are really usually easy wins. Former President Bill Clinton is going to head to New England today, home to some of the bluest of the blue states. He's going to be campaigning for some struggling Democrats. And the vice president and president are also hitting the road this week. John Hendren has the story now from Washington. John? Good morning, Ashley. That's right. Former President Clinton says Democrats are not yet putting up a good fight, and he'll be back in the ring himself today in some surprising places, places where in any other year no Democrat would be on the ropes. The comeback kid is coming back. I know a lot of people are mad and a lot of people are tired. In a bruising year for Democrats, he's playing defense deep in home territory. Today in the solid blue states of Massachusetts and Connecticut. It means there is no such thing as a safe state for Democrats this year. There is no such thing as a dark blue state. There's no such thing as a safe slam dunk election. He's campaigning for an endangered species, longtime politicians. Connecticut Attorney General Richard Blumenthal, a Senate hopeful, and 30-year Congressman Barney Frank, who crushed his last opponent two to one. In three earlier races, the Republicans threw up their hands, running no one against him. Now, the president's point man on the banking bailout is also on the endangered list. This is as bad of political environment that Democrats have seen in a very long time, and they are looking for somebody who can come in and invigorate their base. This time, Clinton's bringing a new pitch. If this election is a choice about the future, we have a chance to do quite well. If it's just a referendum on people's frustration, <laughs> it's a bad deal for us. And he's not alone. Joined by the campaigner in chief on Tuesday in Wisconsin and Vice President Joe Biden at Penn State. Next month, Democrats bring out the most popular resident of the White House, First Lady Michelle Obama. Her itinerary is a map of endangered Democrats. Wisconsin for Russ Feingold, Illinois for Alexi Janulius, Colorado for Michael Bennett, Washington State for Patty Murray, and California for Barbara Boxer. The First Lady and Clinton have one thing in common. Both are more popular than the president. Today there are new reports. Democrats have set up an opposition war room and they'll be running ads targeting Republicans past using things like Better Business Bureau filings, tax filings, even divorce proceedings. They're taking nothing for granted, Ashley. All right, John, thanks so much.